the red wolves in eastern North Carolina are the only wild population of this species that exists. The North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission has never been a big fan of the red wolf program, unfortunately. They have recently uh, adopted a resolution actually requesting that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service declare the red wolf to be extinct in the wild and remove the red wolves uh, from lands in North Carolina. I do want to mention the resolutions and, and the allegations that the commission is somehow undermining our, our collaboration and, and, our, and the spirit of that collaboration. Can they maintain this wolf program on federal land as required in their rules? Can they also develop and maintain a stable and self-sustaining population of wolves, which is also a stated goal. And this information through this comprehensive program evaluation is very clear that the management on federal lands is an unequivoc unequivocal no. It's also very clear that the self-sustaining part with the population size that it is cannot be obtained. On behalf of the Red Wolf, there are less than 100 of the red wolves alive today in the wild anywhere in the world. And in, in captivity there are less than 200. I believe we owe it to this animal to keep it from the brink of extinction. The coyotes or the wolves have no natural predators in North Carolina. And they're smart, crafty animals. Anybody's ever tried to hunt them, they have the advantage to start with. And you put these restrictions on the hunting, they're going to run rampant. This is a kind of an unprecedented action in, in terms of a state trying to assume the authority over the fate of an endangered species. And the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has to decide now whether their mission is to appease a state fish and game agency or to provide for the recovery of a critically endangered species that has been entrusted to them under the Federal Endangered Species Act.